I got multiple requests from my existing ZO CRM course students and they asked me to create a short course that will help their employees use ZO CRM. So this is going to be a short course. I will show you how to configure your email address, how to configure your calendar, how to configure your personal settings, how to use ZO CRM, how to create records, search them, work with the views, just the basic stuff. Let's begin. First of all, we are going to click on the settings on the top right and then we are going to click on personal settings. As you can see, the personal settings will have all the personal settings related to your organization. So I don't need to know here personal information about you. It's supposed to be personal information about you related to the organization. I will need you to click on the pencil on the top and then I will need you to enter in this area all the information possible. There are some templates in the system, email templates, that will use some of the information from this page. For example, phone number or website or maybe the name. So you will need to have all the relevant information updated on this page and whenever you finish, click on save. If you need more time, click on pause, make it happen, and then proceed with this lesson. By now, I hope that you already finished the personal setting and I will need you to click again on the settings icon on the top and then I will need you to click on the email. Now, in case that you do not see the email, please contact your administrator or the company owner, whoever it is, and they will be able to add this option for you. Once you click on the email, you will see, let me just do that, you will see that you have a way to click on get started and then you will be able to select the right email service. Most people will use probably Gmail, some of them will use Office 365. In any case, you will need to click on the correct email service. And if you do not know what email service you're using, you will need to ask your upline, your manager or the system administrator. In my case, it will be Gmail. And you always want to use the IMAP configuration. Click on the IMAP. Once you click on the IMAP, you will get the option to connect your email to Google. I will click on allow. And in your case, by the way, it might be not Google, it might be Office 365 or Yahoo or a different service. In my case, it is Gmail and I will click on allow. Once you do, all the details will be pre-filled automatically for you. You will need to add your name on the top and then here you will need to select the privacy details. The privacy details will define who can see the emails that you exchange with your clients or with your customers. So it's not really public to the world, it's public to your organization. In my case, which is the most common, I will click with share with everyone and I will click on close and then save. So that was step number one. Step number two, we are going to connect our calendar with ZO CRM. There will be multiple cases that we are going to create events in ZO CRM. Those events should sync with your calendar because otherwise you will not know when you have events. You will need to click on the settings icon on the top and then you will need to select the correct uh, calendar setting. Currently ZO is connecting or with ZO calendar, Google calendar or Microsoft Office calendar. In my case, I am going to click on Google because I have a Google calendar but in your case, you might have Microsoft or Zoho. So I'm going to click on Google. 
On the top, I am going to click on Google Calendar and then authenticate Google Calendar. Same thing like we had in the email, I will need to click on allow and now there will be a sync between the calendar and Zoho CRM. As you can see here, I will need to select my calendar, currently I have only one, and then I will need to define what will be the sync type. If the sync will be from Zoho CRM to the calendar, or maybe from the calendar to Zoho CRM, or maybe both ways, from and to calendar and Zoho CRM which that's, that's usually what most people select. So I will se select the two-way sync and then I will click on save. So that was step number one. We configured our personal settings, we configured our email and the calendar. That was a very important step that you need to accomplish. In the next lesson, we are going to deal with the records and with the leads in the system. I will see you in lesson Number two.